so we decided to have a Mexico day just for fun, um, exploring lots of things about Mexico. And as part of this, we decided to make these simple toilet paper roll pinatas. So they're made from toilet paper rolls, some recycled tissue paper, they're filled with sweets and recycled confetti, and you pull the little string at the bottom and out pop the sweets. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look and see how they're made. So you'll need a toilet paper roll and some recycled tissue paper. Look, this one's even still got a birthday tag on it. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is, and obviously some sweeties and some pens, but it's mainly the toilet roll and the tissue paper. First thing we're going to do is, is uh, decorate it and add a Frida Kahlo face. So I'm going to just focus on the top third, which is about here. I'm going to kind of shape, she's got sort of a nice parting, although you probably won't see this later. She's got a nice parting. I mean, don't spend too long worrying about how you're going to draw her face. Just have a go and, you know, get creative. Make lots of them so they can all look different. In fact, our Frida Kahlo's, they all look really, really different. Make sure she has the big eyebrows. Maybe give a little nose and some lovely big lips. My daughter, I hasten to add, was saying, oh gosh, these are a bit ugly. But once you finish them all, they'll look really, really good. So again, because these are just decorations and pinatas and you wanna make lots of them, don't spend ages making them perfect. They'll look good as a collection and, um, you know, yeah. So that you can see, I'm not even decorating this super, super detailed, just have it. So you have the key features, big eyes, big eyebrows. I might even bring them a bit together. There we go. Maybe add a little bit of color to her face. Just grab some pens. And maybe give her some red lips. Basic Frida done. Now we're going to add some tissue paper to the bottom. I'm going to cut a square of white. It doesn't have to be white, it can be any colour. Make sure it's a bit bigger than your bottom of your so it fits on, like so. Get your glue stick. Put lots of glue around the bottom here. It doesn't have to be super neat. And then put it and just squish it down. And that's going to be the bit you're going to pull later. Now you can either make a hole early and really put the string on, or you can tape the string on at the end. I like to tape mine on, but it really doesn't matter too much. Okay, next bit, we're going to make her skirt. For that, I'm going to get my recycled tissue paper. Let's undo it. There we go, look at that, suddenly you've got a nice big straight bit. Oops, you're going to need enough to go round your doll. So. Okay, about this much. Just check. There we go, yeah. So that's enough. And I I use three colours per um, doll. Was it three or four, maybe? And what you can do is you can cut several strips of the same colour at the same time and make several dolls at the same time. But I've just done one here and I'm going to get some more colours. I'm going to get some blue, some pink and some red and I'm going to cut them all into strips like this and then move on to the next step. So, three colours, they all fit round. And next step is, is to create your sort of piñata tassels and also it makes it look like a skirt. So I'm going to have got all four pieces together and I'm cutting them at the same time because that just saves you a little bit of time. But you can of course cut one at a time 
whatever suits you. Next you take a glue stick, carefully apply it to the top and starting at the back, wrap it round. Have the tassels going off the edge. And then a little bit more glue here. Next colour. And then this one, the last one, you can trim it down a little bit. Don't trim it too much because otherwise you'll, you'll lose your fray bits. But I'm just going to make it a bit shorter because I, 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 want to, don't, I don't want too much red at the very top. Otherwise it looks a bit funny. You can get that nice layering. So the last one I'm just making a little bit shorter so you can see the colours underneath and it doesn't dominate. This time I can put a bit of glue here because mine's very small. The red's quite small. There we go. There you go, the basic is done. Now all these little bits, save them because we're going to make our own confetti with them and pop it inside our Frida at the very end. So it's a really thrifty craft because you're literally using everything. What you can do as well is, so as we've done with this one, you can add some stripes or some dots. So if you want to add little details to the dress, that's fine. But what we're going to do next is we're going to make her flowers. And again, they're super easy. You might have seen these flowers on my site before. Basically, per flower, okay, let's do it. You need two circles. This is going to be the small flower, I think. We're going to make two big flowers and two small flowers. You cut two circles. Again, they don't have to be super neat. I'm cutting two at the same time. You take a little bit of your scrap. So I've got a bit of scrap pink here. I'm just going to scrunch it up. And then to make your flower, you literally you add a little bit of glue to one half, stick it on top of the other one, put a little bit of glue in the center, put this thing in the middle, and then you scrunch it up and you have a flower. So I'm gonna make some more flowers and then we're gonna assemble them and add them to our Frida. Okay, glue them on. So lots of glue here. And your basic Frida Pinata is done. I'm just gonna add a little yellow, I think. Just a, a yellow circle, I think, to the center of her dress, because I want a bit of contrasting colors. Could be a flower as well, actually. There we go. Your basic Frida is done. Next, you want to hang her up. Now, I normally I would use my um, hole punch, but I can't find it. So I'm gonna carefully using some sharp scissors, so get an adult to do this, make a little hole. I'm gonna get one end of my uh, string and with my scissors again, push it through the hole. If you're using your hole punch, it should be much easier to uh, get in. If you're using uh, your scissors like me, you know, it's a little bit fiddly, but you should be able to manage. Make a knot. And you probably do a double knot just to make sure it stays. Then loop it round. Make sure you've got enough for hanging. And repeat on the other side. So your basic Frida is now done. Time to fill it with some sweets. Now I've chosen to keep my um, Frida open. So I haven't put anything on top, but you can stuff some tissue paper in it. You can also 
uh, just snip in your leftover bits of tissue paper to make your own confetti. So that's a really thrifty way of making it extra fun. And then you can push, push some tissue paper on top if you wish. We actually left ours open, we thought it was fine. And then the very last thing you need to do if you're gonna turn it into pinata rather than like a little treat bag, is you'll need another strip of, of string, tie a little knot at the end, and let me just get it double so it's nice and strong. Get a little bit of tape. So I've got my tape here. And just secure it at the bottom. Make sure the tape is, so that the knot is outside the tape so that when you pull, oh, you see that's what I'm saying. When you pull, the knot stays secure. And there we go. Our Frida mini pianatas finished, all made with recycled materials. Now, don't forget, if you like this video, don't for like, forget to like, comment and subscribe. Above all though, keep watching, keep making, and we'd love to see you here again soon. Take care, bye. <laughs>